All right, so we filmed this video using my GoPro, and it sat inside its waterproof case when it was on the stand, um, and it absolutely crushed the audio for this video. So we're going to be doing all of this with a voiceover. Um, but so you can see right here, the jet skis are sitting on their trailer. It takes up quite a bit of space. Can't fit a car in the garage, and I do have a good-sized garage. So what we're going to go over today will help, uh, help me, and it will help you uh, put together some plans for your jet ski carts. So we're going to go out here, take a look in the back of my truck. I do have 14 2x4s in there. So what we're going to be doing is right now chopping all these up, getting all the correct angles, correct measurements. So we'll be done with that here shortly. All right, so that is about an hour and a half of cutting wood here. Got everything measured out, got all the correct angles cut. So what you're seeing here, this is enough for two jet ski carts. This first one, this is a five foot section. Um, these are gonna be for your bunk. So there's four of those cut for two jet ski stands or you cut two of them for just one stand. Um, the shorter pieces right next to them, these are four foot long. Those are gonna be for the very bottom of the stand. All of those will go up there. Um, and then these, these ones here, I cut these at 11 and a half inches. One side's flat and the other side is at a 22 degree angle. You see they're gonna, those are gonna be your posts standing upright and the bunks will sit on those at a 22 and a half degree angle. We got three of those for each side. So there'll be six per stand. So we've got 12 of those cut there. Um, and then these last pieces here, we're gonna go back and change these. I cut them all at 32 inches wide. Then I realized how, narrow my HX was um, and I wanted to you know slim those down so we knocked out the angle we cut them straight down um, we're gonna cut for the HX at 22 inches wide and for the XP we cut them at 27 inches wide um, so we kind of changed plans halfway through the project so now we're gonna be putting together the stands we got everything cut so what we're doing here is we're going to be putting the uh, posts on the bottom of the stand. So what I'm doing is just two three and a half inch screws on the bottoms of them And right there you can see how the bunk will sit. So we're gonna put two of these together right here And then we're gonna install the cross braces right after so on the very ends of the post you want to make sure they're in the um, Full length of the two by four so that way they sit flush when everything's put together with the cross braces All right, so now we're gonna get all of our cross braces into place we're going to be drilling holes so we can put the screws in. And the nice thing about these three and a half inch screws is they go all the way um, and connect all three two by fours in place there. So you can see all of those kind of just going into place and that's where the uh, bunks will sit up top there. Now we're gonna take a quick break, have a beer if you haven't already, just relax for a second. And then we're gonna be installing the bunks onto the top of the cart there. So on the very ends, you want to make sure they overhang about eight inches if you um, did all the same dimensions that I did. So that's a four foot bottom and a five foot top. So you got eight inches hanging over on the ends. Now we're going to flip it over and we need to install the casters. So I use two inch polyurethane casters with, uh, they've got some kind of little brakes on them. I actually, believe it or not, I don't even find it necessary to uh, have those brakes on there. The jet skis weigh enough that they're not moving around. So the cart's pretty much finished now. We're just gonna be um, covering the bunks. You can use whatever you liked. I went super cheap just because I didn't know how these stands were gonna hold up. Uh, they seem to be extremely sturdy, but I just use on the one first stand here for the HX. These are just towels that I got from Harbor Freight. They're like $3 for a hundred of them. So I'm just stapling them on the sides. A lot of guys seem to use carpet. Uh, like I said, I just didn't wanna go out and spend the money on carpet for this because I didn't know how it would hold up. So later on down the road, I may change this, but uh, believe it or not, these cheap towels, they really seem to be holding up pretty well with the jet ski on there. They're not tearing off or anything. So you can use whatever you like. So there's the first stand, totally finished. Um, seemed to turn out pretty well. It's sturdy enough. I'm standing on it. So we'll see how the HX holds up on it. Probably weighs a couple hundred pounds more than me. I'm only a slim 130 pounds, but uh, we're going we're gonna to pull that off the back of the trailer and take a look at how it sits on there and get the second stand built. 
finishing this last beer out of the six pack, but we got both stands finished up here. Got the trailer parked outside. Probably where it'll stay when these things are sitting at home. Um, it, both stands turned out extremely well. I didn't find it necessary to put all the you know video together for the second stand. It's the same thing, just a little bit wider. But you can see this thing really, really moves easy with the casters. I'm, I'm a small guy, and I can really just muscle these things around like it's nothing, which will be great for this winter when you know working on them and doing whatever needs to be done. So there's the XP stand. It's about six inches wider than the HX stand. We'll pull the HX out here, show you again how easy it is to move these things. And believe it or not, it's super easy to get them off of the trailer as well. I, like I said, I'm a small guy. Um, took me about five minutes to get those things off the trailer, get these things moved over next to each other, and uh, I'll take you around these things and show you. But uh, they're super sturdy. I'm really excited about them. I mean, look at this. I'm even standing on top of it. This XP, um, I don't know the exact specs. I'd imagine it weighs probably about 500 pounds. I get on top of it. I mean, it, it doesn't even flex, doesn't creep, doesn't make a noise. So um, seems to be holding up really well. So let's take a quick walk around see how everything works. Uh, I'm sorry, looks. I've had a few too many beers by now. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'm pretty excited about them. They look great. They take up so much less space in the garage. Easy to move around when I need to work on them. Uh, and they do sit a little bit lower, so it won't be hurting my back so much when I'm digging inside the engine bay this winter, uh, which is pretty much inevitable with these nearly 20-year-old jet skis. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button.